there's a lot of tension right now with everything. But specifically, there's a lot of tension between black folks and white folks. What, what do you wish more white folks knew about the experience of being black? That it is not a choice. Held to a higher standard. What's that look like? In terms of the way I'm groomed, in terms of what I say. Just, just the fact of being, feeling of a secondary citizen. The majority of people still view us like we're different, as if we're not all human beings. We're always finding our placement. Where? Where do I belong? You know, how do I, how do I fit in? I know I'm black. I know that I go through struggles. But without a struggle, I mean, I could just sit on a corner right now and just say, hey, it's over. I'm tired. I ain't got to move. I only really experienced, rape, to be honest with you, racism like one time my entire life. My son, at the age of 13, has faced more challenges that I've had in my whole life. You know what I mean? Just being a young black male in Harlem. It's probably more than you. And you're a grown man. He's a child. My son's 19 years old. I just hope that he may see a day where there's no disparities. There's no separations. He have the same opportunities as everyone else. Once I got older in the working world, to me, it wasn't no longer about color. It was more or less about who you knew, where you were, and how you got there. Real talk, I moved through white spaces at ease, and that's because of my like level of education and being able to sort of like navigate but I also don't think I prioritize white spaces. Like, I'm always trying to be, like, in the blackest place as possible. I wish more people knew that being black is not a singular experience. There's about as many types of black as there are black people. I wish people would understand that being black is not so much about a color. Because if you look at my skin tone, I'm not black. I'm brown. You can't define me by a color. Define me by who I am, what I'm about, and what I stand for.